Brother Emmanuel, brother, 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 do me a favor, homie. I just got chewed out. Please, if someone, brother, disagree with me, please don't block them. The belligerent people is who you block, my brother. Please do not. You don't have to put no one on timeout. All right. If someone is belligerent, if someone's cursing, tripping, you know, saying coon, you know, calling people out, calling people mother effers, those are the people that you block. If someone disagree with me, I, you know, I don't like blocking people. I'm not, I'm not these other YouTubers. Okay. I'm not these other YouTubers. This is not necessarily the class, yo. <clears throat> this proclamations are not laws, people. <laughs> proclamations are not laws. I understand all that, but you need to look up that word. So listen to me, y'all. All right, I'm not teaching really today. I just, I just want to get something off my chest because. I want you to see this first. I'm leaving this here for a moment. But I'm not really, you know, impressed about what these people are doing. You don't need a recognition from a corporation. The cities are corporations. Philadelphia is a corporation. We have to be acknowledged by our people globally. Okay? Resolutions are not laws. Just look it up. It's really not. So are y'all still fall for the Oka deal? This is a good thing. It's a good thing. But y'all, some people don't know what my sister's talking about. And let me share this with y'all. And it really took me like a long time to understand that. I'm going to share something with y'all before I talk about my brother Marlon. And this is not a beat up on Marlon Wayne's. This is not a beat up on my brother. So if y'all thought y'all was coming on here to see me beat up my brother, no, it's not about a beat up on my brother Marlon. I know Marlon. I respect Marlon highly. I respect all the Wayans brothers, no doubt. Damon Wayans gave me some advice when I went to California. He gave me advice when I went to Cali. So... I respect that family, no doubt. We need more brothers and sisters like that to stand up. But I don't know if he knew this or didn't know this, but let me explain something to you. Just, yeah, just a bit of just clear for clarity. Exactly. So I'm going to let y'all understand. It took me a long time to know that a resolution was not a law, even though I use resolution number 75 to get my name. But one thing you have to understand, people, and you know, that I am a hell of a researcher. I don't go on YouTube. I don't listen to what other people say. I don't even know why and how I got to where I'm at. I'm gonna be real with y'all. I don't even know how that happened. How did I get to where I'm at? When I started doing what I was doing, it wasn't um, about me being in front of all these people. It wasn't about that. It was about me knowing something that was raw, boy from Philadelphia, that was hustling, that ran across a brother named Kamar Gabriel, Morris brother, that took me in. And the reality is he the one that took me off the street. It wasn't me going to jail because I was hustling. Okay, it wasn't about me going to jail because I was hustling. That didn't stop my flow. It was me getting into this information and I'm going somewhere with this show, and I want you to understand this history. You have to understand this. I'm very passionate. I'm not emotional with this. I'm very passionate with this information. Yes, please like and share. So listen, I was hustling. Nothing could take me off the streets. Nothing. Didn't go to jail. None of that. So any of you Negroes on here think I went to jail and got this information? You thought wrong. It was a brother by the name of Kamar Gabriel. 
I'm going to say this brother's name again. He's not around. He's not around anymore. His name is Kamar Gabriel. Okay? You think it was Taj Tariq Bay, but it wasn't Taj. It was Brother Kamar. Yes, Taj was there, but it was Brother Kamar that took me off the streets, away from me hustling. Nothing could do that. But I was eager to find out how can I get back at the police? How can I get back at the politicians for lying? How? It wasn't through no religion. It wasn't through no praying. So y'all got kind of shook that I'm on here early. I want y'all to come on here. I want the doubt says to come on. We on early. So it wasn't me going to jail. It wasn't me joining a religious group. None of that. Brother Kamar came to me in a market, a path mark, right? On Grace Ferry, which is not a path mark anymore, in Philadelphia in 1997. Did I go back far enough for y'all? Did I go back far enough for y'all? You thought it was in the YouTube era Sabir Bay popped up on this? No, nah, baby. No, I didn't. So in 1997, I was in Sunni Islam, still hustling. No, it was total violation. Still hustling. Nation, you know, Sunni. Don't matter. So, in Philadelphia. So, the brother Kamar came to me and said, I asked him a question. Where's the crown king? It's sitting somewhere. It's right here. This is the crown. No doubt. So, Kamar Gabriel comes to me. And I asked him about the fez that this brother had on his head. It wasn't through nobody else, nothing, no organization, no MST of A, none of this. None of it. Kamar came to me and said, you know, I asked him a question about the Moors. Now, mind you, I told this story before. I lived next door to some Moors, Americans, all my life. They never brought me in. I thought it was a religious group. True story. So, I bumped into Kamar. I used to see him go at it with the police. I used to see all this stuff. Go at it with the popo. He pulled me in his house. The first book he pulled out was a Webster's Dictionary. I want y'all to do this. I want everybody to look up the deaf. I want you to pick up a Webster's Dictionary. If y'all don't know what it is, let me let y'all get familiar with the dictionary. Because some people think I come at them hard. And it's not that I come at people hard. You don't understand this journey. Y'all don't understand the journey. I'm giving y'all a story. Listen, chill. I'm going to get to that in a second. But I have to tell you why I feel impassionate the way I am. Because... It's a, it's a journey. See, people get on here and say, oh, what did Marlon say? What did Marlon do? Y'all always love gossip. People love gossip. What did Marlon say? Marlon didn't say nothing. I'm just going to clarify something. So, the brother Kamar brought me in the house. And it's, all this is going to lead directly to where I'm going at. And he said, I want you to do me a favor. This is why you always see me with a bunch of books. Kamar walked away from all of this because I know dealing with our people is a headache. It makes you want to walk away from it. It makes you want to deal and don't deal with it because we're very ignorant. And ignorant people just mean that you don't know, you don't care to know. Unless the European tells you that. That's the nature of our people, right? I now I understand why he walked away. It's easy to deal with religion. I know you asked about the title, but if you chill for a moment, you will listen to what I'm saying. Don't take a piece of what I'm saying, people, and run. And run. I want you to listen to everything. So when he came to me and said, brother, I want you to pick up a dictionary. You wouldn't be in the... I don't Bahamas right now. I'm not even in the Bahamas. You say if I walked away, I would be or I wouldn't be. I'm not. <laughs> I'm ready to go to the Bahamas and get away from it. Now I feel what Kamara was saying. 
Now I understand what my brother Zukan said. See, it's easy to hide behind religion. But when you get this information, it becomes a responsibility. Right? It's a responsibility. And sometimes it's a headache to deal with this. I'm being real with y'all. These new jacks that come in this game that you see on YouTube, they knew. It's easy to hide behind this. But when you see something, you got to correct something. So that was Brother Kamara teaching me. But what Kamara told me to do is said, this. He told me to go, not this particular book. It was bigger than this. It looked like one of these books. So he told me to pick up this book, a dictionary. The first word he told me to look up is Indian. It wasn't for you and Todd. We wouldn't know who we truly are. Uh, Aborigines give thanks brother but we're going to get into that too so I'm, I'm going somewhere with all of this to show you why things are the way they are with Nefertiti and everything else so in the Indians so Kamar told me to pick up this the first word he said look up and I want you to dissect the word is Indian I said what do you mean brother you know I'm like what do you mean Look up the word Indian and dissect it. Right? I said, what are you talking about? What they got to do with us? So as I looked up the word, I said, wow. That has something to do. That's us. Right? So as I'm talking to him and, and eventually moved in his brother's house. That's how crazy it was. Moved in this brother's house. And that's what took me off the streets. I can tell you're passionate and, and try. Thank you for enlightening. So listen, I don't know what know anybody else who honestly get on here and just show y'all piece after piece of their work. Reason why I show y'all my work and what I do is because you can't duplicate no matter what you do. You can't duplicate what I say, how I say it. None. Trust me. And I can tell when people bite. So listen. Kamara told me to look up the word Indian. Yeah, we had 37 views, 16 likes. It is what it is, brother. I'm, I'm good with all this. See, this is for the people, brother, who want fame. I didn't get into this for fame. I didn't do this. I didn't do none of this to get in for fame. Nah. I got in it, I told you, because our people needed to hear this information. So Kamara told me to look up that word Indian. From that point on, there was no turning back. Boy, I was opening up every book. 1997, I'm going ham. I'm cutting off a Sunni beard. I'm, everything's going. My kufi comes off. My jalabiyah comes off. I stopped speaking Arabic. All of that was out the door. He was trying to teach me civics, which he did for the past three years sitting at this brother's feet. Every night to four, five, six, seven o'clock in the morning, non-stop, non-stop going ham. You follow me? So that's why I feel the way I feel. From 1997, I haven't really seen much change since until now. I'm being real with y'all. I've been in this radio game since 2003. 2003, I've been in this radio game. I did a newspaper, and I'm going to show you that in a minute. Bear with me. Remember I told you I had CDs. Remember I said cassette tapes? Remember I had CDs? I have over 3,000 of my radio shows, not blog talks, not YouTubes. Radio on CD, right? Let me show you something. How far back I was dealing with this information back then. You see this newspaper? This was the, my radio show. It was called Civil Alert. Do you see the copyright? Was YouTube around in 2003? Was IG around? Was there anything of Facebook? No. Let me show you how much this paper cost. This was Sabir's paper. This was my paper. You can't even, I don't even know if that's still in existence anymore. You can see how old this paper is, right? But let me show you the title of this paper. You see this? Why are so-called blacks, black Americans confused about the American-Indian connection? Do you see this paper? 
Y'all at this store and I just walked into this? This is before the radio show. And we give you the history of it. My brother, this brother used to be my co-host, El Shafiq. El Shafiq was my co-host. And I said, brother, I want you to do the first article in this paper. Now, the brother that told me I should do this paper was my brother, Taz Tariq Bey. I'm going to show you all something, how stuff wasn't being supported. This is how old this article is. Don't call that number. That number is not there anymore. That number is not there. You see this? I was dealing with this before these new dudes called. You see that says 2001? All this. Before any of these cats or you two talking. I can back up everything. I'm going to show you something. Dred Scott case I spoke about. The back of the paper was right there. You see that? Copyright 2003, Severe Bay. Anything I'm telling you, I can back up. Oh, y'all didn't know I was that. So, radio, newspaper, and now film that I've been doing. This is the logo was for my newspaper. That was the logo for Sabir Bay show. Abdullah Bay has been around for a long time too. This is what he was doing. These are advertisements that we were working with. The reason why people give up is because people do not support nothing at all. I'm going to show you something else for some people who still think I just walked into this and why I feel the way I feel. This is also a newspaper that Taj did. 2003. Do you see that? Where are these dudes at talking civics in this information? You see this? This is what we was working with. So when people say... That Taj don't deal with Noble Dwelly way before these dudes even came on the scene. Do you see this? I have records, baby. Noble Dwelly was on the front page. So I want you to share this to the cats. Okay? Who sit here and talk crazy. I want you to see this date again. I want y'all to see this. Okay? Share this to them. This is Taj Tariq Bay's paper in 2003. Ask them where they were at in 2003. Ask them. See, the Johnny come lately to talk. We've been putting in this work for the longest, but the people wasn't supporting it. Some of the people was taking the information, reselling it, or now today, because they don't have it, they can use the internet to do what they're doing. See how this works? So when I say someone's copying the information, what they are doing is taking what I'm saying and running with it. You say I like this, but you don't like the not support. Exactly, it is what it is, man. Let people do what they do. And when they wanna know why I back away from them and don't talk, then you understand, okay? Okay? I'm being real with y'all. Ask them to show them something beyond 2005 that they produced and one thing I got to say now I'm going to get into this when I went to California I never remember a matter of fact I was in New York Damon Wayne said to me and then stuck with me in New York I never forget Damon Wayne saying this to me if you produce something good enough the people will come I'm gonna say that one more time for y'all if you produce something good enough the people will come and that's all I've been doing is producing, creating, and people been stealing. So this is not an attack on my brother, Damon, I mean Marlon. This is to clarify things for y'all to understand. I've been in this for a minute. So Damon was on Big Boy show and I sent this the big, I sent the video I did to Big Boy and I know Big Boy, I got his phone number. If y'all know who Big Boy is, y'all watching. People been hitting me. I called Big Boy. I, five days ago and I sent him the video I did last night so if you know if you have big boys Twitter tweety Marlins Twitter tweety 
Because this is what is happening, people. The reason why all this stuff is going on is because we're not telling the truth. And this is why Europeans are painting Nefertiti and everybody else Caucasian. Everybody's Caucasian because we don't have the balls to stand up. Someone, I mean, I got mad hits yesterday. They, they said, yo, man, you see Marlon? He only talking about immigrants, brother. We were immigrants. Oh, you hear you talking about Indians? No, we're not the immigrants, Marlon. We're not the immigrants, baby. <laughs> we're not. Europeans are the immigrants. And I know some people who work for them may get kind of scared, but I say it all the time. Europeans are the immigrants. Shout out to my man, Cat Williams. I forgot to put his name down there to tag him because he made a comment about immigrants and he talked about Trump's wife. She's the immigrant. He's the immigrant. Okay? She and he's the immigrant. So let me show y'all something in this book. I'm taking my time because I want y'all to get this and I don't want nobody to take anything and run with it. Dictionary of afro Latin American. Yes, Europeans are the only immigrants. Only immigrants. But look. Immigrant planners. You see this? In Jamaica. Now I'm going to walk y'all through something and I want y'all to bear with me. Immigrants in Jamaica. 1820. Europeans never call themselves immigrants. But black people love to call themselves, oh, I'm an African American. Why is it that we the only people call ourselves African American? Hmm. Why do black people in America are the only people who was born here three generations? Three generations. My great grandmother was 106 when she passed. My grandma was 80. My mother was 70. That's this is four generations now. Why is it that we've been here for so long that we allow people to call us African Americans? And then they used to African hyphen something. When you hyphen anything, it denotes what's on the other side. Do you follow me? It denotes what's on the other side. Please, people, don't be afraid to criticize. If you think I'm wrong, criticize me, baby. I'm with it. Criticize me. Beat me up. But one thing I want you to do is do your research on what I'm saying. And you're going to find it. I'm not going to block you. My, I don't want no moderator to touch nobody unless they use profanity. At all. Period. Beat me up. Come at me. Tell me I'm lying. Tell me I'm wrong. Go. I'm not going to block you. Right? So, why is it that in four generations we still saying we're African Americans? Think about it. Somebody's lying to somebody somewhere. But I'm going to show you. We're doing it to ourselves. In Jamaica, 1820. And elsewhere. Elsewhere. You know that Jamaica is America, right? You do know that Jamaica is America, just in case y'all don't know that. And elsewhere in the what? West Indies. Any white. Right? Any white who settled on the island. These immigrants fell. Do you see that? Into three groups. Planters of, or, or owners of large sugar estates, okay? Would you see this? Employees, overseers, bookkeepers, technicians, all this, this is dumb. So these are the immigrants taking over now. It's called a dictionary of, of Afro-Latin. This is uh, from the Caribbean. So, I want you to see this, to show you this right here. Okay, it's, you can go to sabirbayradio at gmail.com, PayPal. I didn't put the link up here because I wasn't even going to do none of that. sabirbayradio at gmail.com, okay? Jamaica. So, let me show y'all something. Watch this. Check this out. Remember, remember the 5th of November. <laughs> Check. Early Spain. But wait a minute. I'm going to show y'all 
some different things to make sense. This is very simple and it's going to be very short. The aboriginal conditions of the islands. Do y'all see that? Do y'all see that? The aboriginal conditions of the islands. I didn't write this book. This is called the University of California Press. Why you think these cats don't have real conversations on the radio? Now, I'm going to show you. Bear with me. Now, 1820. Aboriginals. This is... What did that say right there, y'all? West Indies? West Indies. Now, bear with me. I'm going to show you this. How does it go? West Indies. Two different books. West Indies. Jamaica. So, let's go. These are the ab these are the aboriginals. Cubans, Haitians, Puerto Ricans, Jamaicans. Hmm. And also the Bahamas. Hmm. Right? Spanish again. Now I'm going to show y'all something in these books. Watch this. Known as Spanish days as the Isles. They were the first people. I want y'all to get that real good. To be called what? Talk to me for a minute, Joe. So who are the Indians? See, the problem is y'all looking for Indians to look pale skinned. Just like they're doing Nefertiti. No, baby. They was the mixed amalgamated people. They are the $5 Indians. They're not the original Indians that they're talking about, y'all. The Indians are you and I. Let me go back. Cuba, Haiti, Puerto Rico, and Jamaica, and Bahamas. Right? They were the first people to be called Indians. Well, maybe they look like this guy right here. And you in Bahamas. It's America, and I'm going to show you. So, maybe they look like him. Wait a minute. So, when we hear the word chief, we think of an Indian, right? Moorish chief. You say, I love that part, Sabir. Oh, yeah. Moorish chief. So, we hear chief, we think it's just a Hollywood Indian. Oh, yeah. We going there, Carly. We going to go there, brother. And we were indigo. That's where the word Indian come from. Indigo. If you look at the, the Moors in the Sahara Desert... They look dark blue. Dark blue, indigo. Bear with me. Let's go. I'm going to show y'all back and forth. American. You see that? American. 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 Aboriginal. Let me move this out the way for y'all. Aboriginals. I hope y'all, I hope my... Big boy listeners getting this information. So you don't want to talk about some real history? Let's talk. An Aboriginal or one of the various copper colored, right? Natives found on the American continent, not a country, continent, not a country, y'all. Continent by the European. Wait a minute. Did it? They say white? Found on the continent by the Europeans. The original application of the name. It's called Pick Up a Universal Webster's Dictionary in 1936. Tell them to do that. Pick up a dictionary. I told you what the first book was. That's why I opened up. And said Kamar told me to take the word and go through every word. That's like they told Malcolm to study every word in the dictionary. I know y'all too lazy to do it. I know that. You wait for the European to tell you. Right? So this is America. This is what we do. We put work in. We don't sit behind these screens. We put work in. 24-7. Shout out to my brother Taj. Always. So y'all see this? I want y'all to share this out to everybody. That's a dictionary. Share it out. Share it out. Cuba, Haiti, Puerto Rico. These are the first people that was called Indians. Indian or indigo. Now I'm going to go to this part. Now. Rock with me. You got it? The only immigrants are Europeans. Y'all scared to tell them. Look, this is from a book called Ancient and Modern Brits. 
That's from this book. But do you see what it says in here? Aboriginal tribes. Do you see Moorish in here? This book was written in 1884. I'm showing you everything pertaining to the Indians with us. This is how you teach people. In 1681, the Indians of New England, or Moors, wait a minute, did that say 1681? They didn't say 1785, did it? It said 1680, 1681, right? Okay, did it? All right, whatever. It says 1681, the Indians of New England, or Moors, as they were also styled by the settlers, right? Were pronounced by William Penn as to be black as gypsies. Do you see that? Booyah. But you wouldn't even know the gypsies was us because you're looking for your history in slavery. Slavery, people. That's what we're looking for our history in, slavery. But they will never tell you this. No. Nor would they tell you this, which is, let me show you this, New African. Black History Month 2010. How many people read this? How many people knew the connection? How many people knew the connection? African Romans who built Britain. I don't get rid of nothing. I keep everything. So I can back it up and show you the dates and times of how I did this. So people saw this online. They saw this online. But here's the paper. Wait a minute. Did it say North Africans? Well, weren't the Moors there? Wait a minute. The example of olive oil wine. Hmm. Oh, y'all just saw the front page, but you didn't have the whole news article. I put this out years ago. Years ago. Years ago, I put this out. When it came out. Okay? So y'all just see the front cover of it. Okay, so they're talking about you in here, okay, all through this book. So you are the original Indian that they're talking about. Like and share, fam. Thanks for again for another monument. No doubt. So we're going to win that. We're almost done because I told you I'm not going to be on here long. So bear with me. So when we hear that word chief, we think it automatically Hollywood Indians. Nah, baby. Nah, let me show y'all some more stuff. Now, this is another book. I'm just going through everything dealing with Indians right now. Only immigrants are Europeans. Master and slave. I have struck gold here. Where you strike gold at? Look. You see that? Who are they talking about? <laughs> Who are they talking about? The natives in Brazil. Remember I told, hold up, dig of the word again, y'all. The Aboriginal individuals, you see that? Y'all thought the Aborigines is just in Australia, look. Hold up. The Aborigines of Brazil. Hold up, let me go back again. Aborigines of Brazil. You know how crazy this is, how they made black people? <laughs> they made you only deal with slavery. Just slavery. That's all. And we gonna feed the rest of the Negroes all this garbage. <laughs> we gonna feed them the lie and they gonna go for it. Told you that's all you need is one or two good ones and they pay enough money to. One or two good dudes and they gonna actually do the bid. Do the bid. With your wisdom, big nugget, too. Give thanks. It's not mine. It's nature's. It don't belong to me. It belongs to everybody that's on here. You just got to dig. 
right? But check it out. Thing. I'm going through everything to show you. Remember it said Spain, right? This book is called Etymological Dictionary. Indigo. This is indigo. I want y'all to look up the Torag people. The Torag people in the Sahara Desert. Torag. You would see darker people, which are jet, jet, dark, or indigo. Right? This is how Kamar told me to study. Look up the word Indian, right? You will get indigo. He said, look up the word Indian, you will get indigo, a blue dye, okay? Greek, but this is indigo, Spanish, indica, indigo, in lit. I, I don't know which one is that, but it's Indian. India, indigas, Indian, Greek. All this is you, induce. You see this? All this, is you so when people so tell me these pale face Indians again when Marlon said we are immigrants we were dragged from our country I said drag brother no listen we were coming back and forth way before the Europeans came way before the Europeans even came we was trading with our brothers and sisters in the Caribbean some got caught in South America some got caught in Africa so when Columbus came, he had a moor on the ship to navigate him back over here. Not once, not twice. I got a book to show you that he went many times. No, it's not they came before Columbus. This is not even that book. I got books I'm not even going to pull out because I said I wasn't going to be on here long. But I'm just trying to prove a point, yo. That they grabbed us from South America. If you don't know what this is. South America took you up to North America. Let's share this. Get this word out. Sabir is dropping Jews. Give thanks. But listen. South America to North America. And they cross the Macy Dixie line. So when they take you from one part of a country, because this is a continent. Remember what I said? A continent, not a country. They took you from one country to another part of a country up here and then back to Africa. That's what they done. So now. These people that you call Indians, amalgamated, mixed people. Mix. The I is the E. How can we trick the Negroes to think that they all came from Africa? Hmm. How can we trick the Negroes? Let me show y'all something. Remember I keep telling you, study everything on Spain. Your history is right there. I just showed you what this was, right? Everything is dealing with Spain. But let me show you a picture. I showed this before. You will be European, right? He will be European, right? Uh, uh, mixed or, uh, right? Let me show y'all something. Who is that? He don't look like these dudes, do he? He don't look like that, do he? So somebody was painting. This is Montezuma. This is Montezuma. Let me go down. The portrait of the emperor Montezuma. You see that? He looks just like him. And this is in Spain. He looks like him, don't he? This is a famous painting in Philadelphia, but Negroes ignore. They ignore this. But Europeans go and stare at it for hours in the Philadelphia Art Museum. Because of you, I look at Carthage and found we are the, yeah, we are the Saracens, but I'm sure you are the Indians too. This is Montezuma. He damn sure look like a brother. He's darker than me. He's darker than me, but this is Montezuma. But he was stoned after he took the side of the Spanish people, which you have Indians today. Do y'all get the picture? Do y'all get it? 
after he took, just like these Negroes today, who taking the side of the European instead of standing up and being honest and truthful with your own people. Do you understand how crazy this is? How hard this work is? Y'all think it's easy. Y'all think I have an attitude. No, people. It's the people that is watching this video knowing what I'm talking about. I don't talk hate. I don't talk mother effer, coons, don't curse. I just speak truth. That's why I, I didn't even know what I was getting into when I got into this. I didn't want to be here. I didn't want to do this. But I don't like liars. You follow me? I don't like liars. And then a lot of these people y'all look up to, I'm basically lying to y'all. So let me take y'all now to the Constitution. Constitution. This says the facts. The U.S. Constitution and fascinating facts. Not opinions. You can go buy this, y'all. Hold up. You can go buy that. It's cheap. Y'all can buy that. Cheaper than a bag of weed. So, look. I'm going to show y'all something. So, when you read this, you thought it was Indians because you're looking for your history in slavery. It said, excluding Indians, not taxed. It did not say exempt. It don't, exempt means you asking someone to exempt you. Exempt means that you're asking someone, okay, to exempt you. It says Indians not taxed. So what happens? Since you don't want to be who you are, since you don't want to be who you are, we're going to mislead you, miseducate you. We're going to pay some ministers to lie to you the whole nine yards. That's what we're going to do. Really? You don't want to be who you are. You don't want to. And I guarantee you, all the Wayans look like they're indigenous. Their families, I bet you they talk to their grandparents. I bet you they got Indian in their family. So I don't know if my brother Marlon was on there to just play stuff up. Because people have been hitting me up like crazy. I don't know, Marlon, if you was on there just playing the game. But I understand. Because I'm not feeding you. I got that part. But understand, we are the Indians. We are the Moors. The Aboriginals. Okay, Algonquin is a language. Algonquin is the language. We believe anything Europeans put out and we run with it. So I want y'all to share this to Big Boy and anybody else who doubt it. But I guarantee you, when you do your research, it's going to blow your damn mind. And talk to your grandparents and ask them, do they have any? You ever hear them say, I got Indian in my family because my hair looks like this. Everybody's texture here was totally different. Okay, so check it out. I'm almost done. I'm getting off in five minutes. So, look at this. The popular tale of Washington and the cherry tree. History says was almost uncertainly, almost certainly untrue. Do you see that? It's symbolic. I didn't write this in his book. It was almost, almost certainly untrue. It was symbolic, people. Why would they put this in here? It says fascinating facts in here. Why would they put that in this book? Hmm. Damn, really? Hmm. Again, if I could keep Negroes sleep. It's all right. Keep the Negro sleep. No, that didn't say that. John Hanson, the first American president in the Constitution? What? Look. The Constitution, we think of George Washington, many things. Hold up. Truth is hidden in plain sight. But before I go, I'm going to do this too. 
let me open up this dictionary so y'all can have a clearer understanding of what a president is. Because y'all might not know what a president is and what his job is. Damn, bro, that food is gold. <laughs> Listen, this is a law dictionary. I'm a hell of a researcher, boy. I will cross and break everything down for you. The president of the United States is the official title of the chief executive office of the federal government. It didn't say the president of America, people. Let me show you this again. Do you say America or do it say the federal government? Talk to me for a minute. Now you got the facts and I can give him the constitution if you want it, sis. Key, I can give him the constitution so he can take to his teacher. See, this is the stuff they don't want. This is what they don't want your children to know. They want your children to be deaf, dumb, and blind, only believe in Jesus. Because Jesus is the only one that can save you. No, Jesus couldn't even save himself. He couldn't save himself. I know some of my Christians probably going to get mad at me because of that. It's the truth. It's the truth. Jesus died for our sins. Yeah, really? This was so-called black, black country. They... Yeah, they took it from us. But let me show y'all something before I get off of here. You remember I said the president, right? Y'all thought the president was the president of America? I just gave you the definition of America, didn't I? Didn't I just do that? That's why he didn't even know what the hell was going on. That's why he did. He called something. Hold up. Let me show y'all this. I'm going to show you how you flip the script and show you. Hold. Oh. America, America is a continent, right? So he's the president of the United States, which is the official title of the chief executive officer of the federal government of the United States. It didn't say America, right? This is basic constitution stuff. Our government in Washington, D.C. has a number of different names. It is called the United States government, the national government, the central government or the federal government. What did I just tell you the president's job is? He's the president of the federal government, right? Or our federal government gets his power and instruction for what? Operating the country. Now, remember I told you this is a continent, right? DC is a district. Effectively, from the information found in the United States Constitution, which I just showed you, That's, that's food said big okay it says our constitution is a contract Negroes can't enter contracts because you're minorities minor can't enter contracts why do all these cats have to go get these attorneys and if the attorneys gonna duke you anyway because they bring their attorneys in their Europeans in to look at these contracts so people I didn't showed you so many books proven who the original Indians are. Immigrants are the Europeans people. They're the only immigrants. Ask them where their green cards at. Stop getting upset when people tell you to go back to Africa. Don't get mad at them. Tell them to go back to where they came from. I don't hate nobody. But you need to stop being emotional, you black or African Americans or colored people, whatever, which one we are today or tomorrow. I don't even know. But you're talking to somebody that's been doing this for a long time. A long time. From radio to film to newspapers. So listen, I want y'all to share this out. I'm going to get off here. I told you I wasn't going to be long. 49 minutes is long enough. It's been real. Please retweet it. Please share it. Your boy, big boy, Marlins, Waynes, whoever the whoever it is, man. They can email me at Radio at gmail.com. I'm very easy to reach. I'm very easy to reach on IG. Google, IMDB, I'm all in. All right, peace and love. Marlon, I love you, brother. But if you want to get some real lessons, holla at me. I'm with you, homie. Anybody in this industry, don't be afraid, yo. I got your back. I got you. All right, peace.